Hello students, this is Ms. Dalton and this video is over end behavior of polynomial graphs. When we talk about the end behavior of polynomials, uh, we're talking about what is happening at the end of each of the graphs. And so what's written in yellow here is really how you're going to write it. Um, we don't just say, oh, on the left side it's moving, it's going up, on the right side it's going down. We want to put it into math uh, terminology. And so for this first piece that's uh, written in yellow, it says as x is approaching, so that arrow just means approaches, as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches what? And so if we look at a graph, um, and if we look at the negative infinity, so as x is approaching negative infinity, that's when x is moving this way, um, you know, what is happening to the graph? So what's happening on that left side of the graph? If it's moving up, well, then we're going to put that it's, uh, that y is approaching positive infinity. If it is moving down, then we're going to say y approaches negative infinity. And so you're just going to be filling in the blank uh, with what is happening. Now, the next part in yellow says as x approaches positive infinity. Well, as x approaches positive infinity, positive infinity is on the right. So now we're going to be saying what's happening on the right side of the graph. Okay? So if the right side of the graph is going down, then you'll say y is approaching negative infinity. If the right side of the graph is going up, then you will say y is approaching positive infinity. Okay, so let's look at, um, you know, a couple of graphs so you can see how you're going to do this. Now, these two graphs are, are representative of what we call even functions. Now, when I'm saying even functions, what that means is that the degree of the polynomial is even. Now, when we're talking about degree, you might have forgotten what that word means. The degree is the highest exponent. So degree means the highest exponent of the polynomial. So when we're looking at the equation, we're going to just look for the highest exponent. If, that, that, if the highest exponent is an even number, like 2, 4, 6, then what's going to happen is both ends, the left and the right side, they're going to be going in the same direction. Here's some examples of some even functions. We have um, x squared, and then another example would be x to the fourth minus x to the third plus x, because again, the highest, the highest exponent is um, that four. And I just realized that I wrote just highest polynomial. That should be highest exponent in the polynomial. Okay, so let's look at this first graph. Um, we have a quadratic that is opening up, and so as x approaches negative infinity, so again, as x approaches negative infinity, we're looking at the left side of the graph. The left side of the graph is going up, so we're going to say that y is approaching positive infinity. Okay. Then as x approaches positive infinity, so as x increases, then what's y doing? Well, y is increasing as well. So something that you'll recognize is that when you have even functions, the ends are going to be doing the same thing. If they're both going up, um, it's even function. If they're both going down, then it's an even function as well. Now, the leading coefficient, because it is opening up, we know that that leading coefficient is going to be a positive. Okay? Let's look at the second one. So the second one, as x approaches negative infinity, so as my x values are moving to the left, what's happening to my y values? Well, my y values are going down, so that would be a negative infinity. Again, we recognize that this is a, an even function, so as x approaches positive infinity, 
y is approaching negative infinity as well. Because it opens down, the leading coefficient we know is going to be a negative. All right, moving on. Now when we look at odd functions, so odd functions just means the degree of the polynomial is odd. So again, degree is the highest exponent. So we have this example, x to the third. Well, that highest exponent is 3, and 3 is odd. And then we have this um, polynomial here, negative x to the fifth plus x, which has a degree of 5, because 5 is the highest exponent. And so 5 is odd, so that's going to be an odd function too. Now these graphs that I have here, they're not representative of those functions that I wrote as examples. These, are, these just represent odd functions. Um, actually, these graphs are actually cubic functions, um, and we'll learn that here pretty soon. But we're again, we're just stating what's happening to the ends. So what's happening to the ends here? So as x approaches negative infinity, the y value approaches negative infinity as well. But on the right side, as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches positive infinity as well. And so something you'll notice about the odd functions, the ends, the right side, they're going to be going opposite, um, or, or sorry, I'm sorry, the left and the right side, they're going to be going opposite directions. Is the leading coefficient positive or negative? Now for the odd functions, this is kind of tricky. Um, what you're looking at is you're looking at the right side. So look at the right side. In this example, the right side is going up, and therefore my leading coefficient is positive, okay? If we look at this one on the right here, the right side is going down, and so therefore my leading coefficient is negative. So on the odd functions, you have to just look at the right side, okay? Now let's go ahead and fill in the end behavior. So as x approaches negative infinity, so as x goes this way, y goes up, so that's positive infinity. And then as x approaches positive infinity, as x goes to the right, what's happening? The y value is going down, so that's negative infinity. All right, until you have this um, memorized or learned, uh, this chart will help you, so if you'll copy this into your notes, this will help you. Um, and so let's look at this right side where it says end behaviors. The end behaviors, so you want to look at the right side. If the right side goes up, then we know that we have a positive leading coefficient. Okay, so both of these have right side going up, which means that those are going to be positive coefficients. Here we have right side going down down, so the right side determines the leading coefficient. So the leading coefficient is all based on the right side. Okay, the degree comes from the fact that the right and the left match. So here, the right and the left match, therefore we're going to have an even degree. Here, the right and the left side are different, so different means we're going to have odd, okay? Here they match, so match means even. Here they are different, so different means odd. Okay, so make sure you get that into your notes. You're going to need to use it um, as we work through the assignment.